हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू इल्यूम बायोलॉजी नाउ इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सबस्टेट लेवल फॉस्फोराइलेशन नाउ वॉट इज सबस्टेट लेवल फॉस्फोराइलेशन एंड वे डज इट अकर इन आर सिस्टम वी विल स्टडी टूडे नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई टेल यू द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्ड सबस्टेट लेवल फॉस्फोराइलेशन नाउ सी फॉस्फोराइलेशन वॉट इज फॉस्फोराइलेशन फॉस्फोराइलेशन इज एडिशन ऑफ फॉस्फिट इन बायोलॉजिकल सिस्टम्स दिस वर्ड इज यूज for the formation of atp now now when an inorganic phosphate is attached to adenosine diphosphate it becomes atp that is adenosine triphosphate the energy molecule of the cell now the source of inorganic phosphate this matters how you must have studied different kinds of phosphorylation in biology you must have studied about oxidative phosphorylation then photophosphorylation and now substrate level phosphorylation the difference amongst the three is the source of inorganic phosphate now in substrate level phosphorylation this inorganic phosphate comes from a substrate comes from a different substrate that's why this is called as substrate level phosphorylation i'll give you an example wait now see this is an enzyme this is an enzyme now at one side of the enzyme there is a substrate attached to it now this substrate in its molecular structure has got a phosphate this has got a phosphate now this substrate would release its phosphate and this phosphate will attach with the adp and convert it into atp after release of this phosphate this substrate will be converted into a product now like this see after the reaction has been completed the substrate has converted into a product and there is the formation of atp and the source of the inorganic phosphate for the formation of atp is substrate itself that's why this reaction is called as substrate level phosphorylation so how do we define it substrate level phosphorylation is the enzymatic transfer of a phosphate group from an organic molecule from an organic molecule substrate to adenosine diphosphate to form atp that is adenosine triphosphate now we will consider the examples wherein we study about the substrate level phosphorylation now in the entire respiration reaction there are three examples of slps two are from the glycolysis and one from the krebs cycle so i'll discuss first two examples from glycolysis now in the glycolysis you must have heard about this reaction in which 13 bis phosphoglyceric acid is converted into 3 phosphoglyceric acid now see it carefully this is the molecular structure of 13 bis phosphoglyceric acid on the carbon number 1 and carbon number 3 phosphate groups are attached that's why the name is 13 bis phosphoglyceric acid now through a reversible reaction this gets converted into 3 phosphoglyceric acid that is in 3 pga phosphate is attached only to the third carbon so in this reaction basically what has happened that this phosphate on carbon number 1 has been released from the substrate and it got converted into 3 phosphoglyceric acid now this phosphate will get attached to adp and form atp now that's clear that the inorganic phosphate that converted adp into atp has been derived from the substrate itself that's why this is called as substrate level phosphorylation the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is trans phosphorylase enzyme now second example this is the last reaction of the glycolysis in which 2 phosphoenol pyruvate is converted into pyruvic acid now this is the structure of phosphoenol pyruvic acid in which on the second carbon we have got a phosphate attached this is converted into pyruvate in which there is no phosphate so this phosphate has been released from the substrate and this phosphate then gets attached to the adp and converts it into atp so again the inorganic phosphate for phosphorylation has been derived from substrate itself so the reaction is called as substrate level phosphorylation and the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is pyruvate kinase so you need to remember these two examples of substrate level phosphorylation from the glycolysis reaction now 
I'll go to the reaction in in Krebs cycle that involves substrate level phosphorylation, and in the entire Krebs cycle, you know that there is only a single step in which ATP is formed, and this step is the conversion of succinyl coenzyme A into succinic acid. Now this. Succinyl coenzyme is converted into succinate, and during this reaction, which is catalyzed by succinate thiokinase, GDP molecule is converted into GTP, that is guanosine triphosphate, and the phosphate, inorganic phosphate, has been derived from the substrate. So this is again an example of substrate level phosphorylation. The enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is succinate thiokinase. Now see. In some certain books, you will you will find the name succinyl coenzyme synthetase as the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction. So no need to worry. Both succinate thiokinase and succinyl coenzyme synthetase are the same enzymes. So that's it. Thanks a lot for connecting with us. Stay connected with us for more such interesting biology videos.